This event's going really well in the opinion of these two muggins who have become life partners. And we do the mate. <laughs> well, they do the mate, according to Ollie. We actively do the mate. Every morning, every day. We brutally murdered a man and stole his now we go back all nonchalant like. Yes. See, it looks nice. Yeah, yeah, this is a um, just made some stew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still a bit peckish after breakfast, so I'm gonna have this little bit. And I'll have some bandages to go give up to keep this. Ah, Venom! Excellent, really good adventures. Yeah, really enjoyable. Excellent. Can you just slowly zoom in on this face? <laughs> 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 oh, I've got money. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Stop it. Oh, you, you, you want to buy some potions? Oh, I'd like to buy some potions. What are you buying, stranger? My name's Patrick. I'm Owen. Mickey. And Jordan. Hello, I'm Deborah Oldham. More commonly, I'm known as Captain Edwin Smith, or to my friends, Acting Sergeant, Bishop Banker, Doctor, Ritualist, Life Keeper, Doll Owner. Captain Edwin No Ship Smith, the first junior, Esquire. Colin. Um, I am playing a rogue assassin. Lucy. Um, she's a elf from Hamadri. I play Harlow Lawweaver. Um, I am from Hamadri, um, which is a kind of rainforest place. Um, I'm a battle cleric or Minuel and Vanya. Either, either way. <laughs> So, a pirate. Well, if you ask him, he's a pirate, but he's not really a pirate. He's not done. He's not done any piracy in his life. He's been out to sea a couple of times. The first time, he sunk his his ancestry ship and ended up washing ashore. Gone out of his way, uh, banished from his home city or home region and such, and just trying to make ends meet really. She's a, she's a nature elf and she spends a lot of time at the back of the group shouting mass heal and basically keeping everyone else up. She's basically in search of basic knowledge on elves, really. Just like getting back to elven roots. He is a almost like a cleric of Sequilla, the water goddess. So I became like a battle cleric with enough kind of strongness, balanced really nicely with all my spells. She's absolutely no use at dealing with uh, with uh, any enemies, uh, but but she helps make sure that at the end of the encounter we can move on to the next one with as few losses, if any. And he just goes about and he does the wrong right things when he can, but more often than not, he does the wrong things for the right reasons. steampunk undertones. Imagine if Lord of the Rings had guns. It's this beautiful mix of, yeah, there's elves and there's like fairies and there's magic, but at the same time, you've got these people building these giant, like, like dreadnought robot type things that come in and they scare the living heck out of you. The amount of effort that's been put into it to create a world, and it feels like you're really in a world. Is, you're not um, just in a storyline, you're in a in a living world. Like and it sees this beautiful mix between like sort of like Renaissance era and like the little magical side that everyone wants. And you feel like you're really part of something, not just like, oh I'm, I'm gonna follow this linear and it, you know, it, it, this is just we the only thing that exists in this entire place is just what we are doing. It doesn't feel like that. There's so many like memorable moments out. Like every single event you go to, there's always like like whether it's oh wow, there's this nature elemental. One of the higher elves in the world um, went uh, corrupt, and we had to go and kill him. That was that was a really good battle. Yeah, that, that was it was hard, but it was good. Um, my first event, there was. Um, there was a very powerful nature elf that uh, brought an elemental back to life from using his soul, and um, he ended up with a little little baby model chalk that is adorable. My most memorable moment from the Neotherra event 
is when I squared off against five Arik Char members who were hiding behind a magical barrier, who were bad mouthing my god, and I turn around and said, my god's better than your god, water puts out fire, at which point they called in reinforcements. Mine was like a, a personal thing with another player, um, so he, um, I tried to describe to him like my, my god, my in character god, and a bit about that, and he then reiterated it in his own words, and oh man, it, it made me laugh so much. Like he really, he got into his character so much. And I stood my ground and there was a beautiful moment where when the reinforcements came out, I saw everyone stood behind me, start walking backwards. And that is one of the moments that has stayed with me. Like it's been a year now since that happened that stuck with me because it was so like hard hitting. The sheer amount of emotion in that moment, even though I couldn't understand almost any of it, because as I said, it was my first event. That was the kind of special moments that you go, well, you go to lot for lots of moments, but those are the ones that make it. So the system is a low hit system and it's a relatively simple one. In that uh, it's easy to pick up uh, you follow specific trees um, that you learn your skills down. Bite size in the beginning, so there's not that many calls that require any major kind of, oh, what was that? How did that work? Well, like everything's kind of self explanatory. Yeah, yeah. So it's very much a system set that really relies on working together. You have a global hit point system, which always makes things simpler if you're not used to combat. Uh, but there's a lot of opportunity to pick up uh, unique and interesting skills uh, through play. And on top of that, like the crew and the other players, they're so like friendly. You know, if you're like, oh, I'm a bit stuck. Well, I have done. I mean, I go to four different maps, and out of all four of them, I would say Neothera is the best one for beginners because it's awesome. <laughs> it has so much detail that's been put into it. It is a beautiful system to start off in. It is so welcoming, and the player crew and the monster crew, they will both welcome you with open arms. We've been to other systems, and, you know, you, you have fun, but the amount of, like, the amount of effort and attention, even down to like the costumes and stuff, like the amount of like, like the monster costumes or even just like, you know, the, the, the brotherhood costumes and stuff like that. There's so much detail put into everything to make it really feel like you're immersed, and like you really feel like the immersion like when, when you're at the, uh, the event. It, it doesn't have the advantage of chocolate salads and beer tents that, uh, that, that Empire does, but uh, Neothera definitely is the best. If you have something that's a worry, then you can always find someone to talk to you about it. And when you're actually playing, um, if you're a shy person, then there'll always be someone who goes, okay, we've got this problem. What do you think about it? Like, what can we do? And it's such a welcoming and simple system that I think it's perfect for anyone. The immersion and atmosphere. it just, the atmosphere is just incredible. Um, Everyone's so friendly. Yeah. We've made some really, really good friends. Thank you.